look at this uh, picture here, we look at the red circle near the fan. That is associated with the CPU and you cannot change it. But if you select system two or one of the others, when you click on that red circle, it gives you a choice as to what fan you select and what sensor you select as well. So if you wanna select one of the sensors, Apart from the CPU one, you are going to do it in this screen. As you can see, the picture has definitions for all the sensors. Right, within this screen, you can do a search for a fan. What this does, it will reduce all the fans apart from the one you're looking for. Uh, in this case, top fan so you can locate it physically that fan will be going fast but the others will go down to bare minimum okay and here we can look at the fans uh, in particular so if we look at the front fan it's associated with the external temperature set probe so we can change that to another setting if we want to. In this case, we go for the chipset. One of the things you can do with the system information viewers for five advanced is change the assignments to your fans in terms of the heat sensor. Uh, the CP1 is fixed, so you can't do anything with that. But if you select one of the others, for example, let's go for the pump in my case. Um, the pump is assigned to the CPU heat fan uh, system as well. So if we click on that, we can assign it to, for example, the VRM MOS sensor or the PCI Express bus or one of the others. So you do that by clicking on that or, or whichever one you want to choose. But in this case, I want to keep it assigned to the CPU. Okay, so in that case, um, We should go back to the other screen and see what's going on. So the pump at the moment is at 38 degrees and the workload is 44%. So as you can see, it's close to the RPM value for that device. Now you can do that with all the other fans you have installed apart from the CPU. Uh, a couple of things you can also do within this screen is enable the auto stop function. This will stop a fan um, from working when it goes below its uh, limit. So, you know, it's saving you power basically. And the other thing you can do is calibrate the temperature interval. If you don't want it to keep changing every now and then, you set a value in there, the default is plus or minus three. Okay, so as you can see, that is uh, fairly easy to do. Also in here, you can um, change the curve of uh, the RPM against the workload, so you can do whatever you like in here. And when you do this, you need to hit the apply button once you do apply, you will see the screen and you can either apply it to the fan or you can apply it to all the devices. So um, we're going to do that in this case. Okay, so we're going to have a look at something else in a minute.